Today on the channel, the AEW Unrivaled 2-pack Amazon exclusive of Matt and Nick Jackson, The Young Bucks. The Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another AEW Unrivaled unboxing and review. And today we've got an Amazon exclusive, an Amazon exclusive two-pack of Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks. But remember, for all your AEW and WWE Mattel needs, hit up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE, save 10%. And you can find usually your Unrivaled Unmatched Supreme uh, series over there at Ringside Collectibles, but not this one. As of right now, this is an Amazon exclusive. And we knew this was coming for the last month or so. We saw a Canadian listing uh, probably six weeks ago, something like that. What is time anymore? And we knew it was coming eventually to North America, or I should say United States, Amazon. And it finally did show up on, I want to say it was Wednesday. And uh, the next day, what do you know, it's shipping and it was on, on my doorstep two days later. So a very quick turnaround right here. Uh, very happy and pleased with that. Came shipped perfectly. No damaged boxes, anything like that. Like we're getting from Walmart currently if you're a G.I. Joe collector. Uh, but very, very good packaging, very good. And I got to say, this two-pack is a lot better than some of the previous two-packs we saw. We did get Frankie Kazarian and Scorpio Sky. A little bit of meat on the bone there with a little bit of an outfit change. But the Moxley Darby Allen two-pack, uh, the Omega Hangman two-pack, there really wasn't any significant changes to anything. Basically just a repaint. Very, very Jack style, of course. But this feels different. We get some new soft goods. We get some new colors. This is enough to be dangerous in the difference department. So very pleased with this pack, at least on the outside. But how will it perform on the inside? And there's only one way to find that out. We're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. And we're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's take a look at the Young Bucks right there in the package. Nice pose there. This would be a great set to get uh, signed one day. If you're an autograph collector, this is perfect. Get them both here in the same package. Uh, beautiful colored paint pen or something of that sort on there would look really good. AW picture, uh, picture of the logo, I should say. And then you got the glamour shots down below, Unrivaled Collection as usual. Very, very nice packaging. This presents very well. It reminds me a lot of the Hardy Boys. They're always compared to the Hardy Boys, of course. Uh, Jack's Class Superstars Days, the two packs, things like that. Uh, very much in the same vein of that. And you got a little glamour shot over on the side. Same thing on the other side. No numbers on this, nothing like that going on. Back of the package, really nothing going on at all. Nothing back here. Uh, you got their autographs. Watch AEW on Dynamite. Uh, check your local listings. And that's all she wrote. Nothing else going there. So without further ado, let's get it out of the package. Let's see what all the fuss is about here. Let's see what's going on in this package here. As I throw them off the table. You know, it happens sometimes. See you later. See you later. There it goes. Let me leave the table. Let me go get it. And uh, I'll be right back talking all things Young Bucks. Oh, hey, I'm back. I don't know if we've ever had a review where the action figures just slid right off the table like that. So this is a first here on the channel. But without further ado, let's take a look at the old plastic prison. There they are. Looking good. Like I said, a very, very presented well pack. It presents very, very well here. I like it a lot. Pop these guys out. We're going to be off to the races here in a second. Maybe. No twist ties, nothing like that. Just sealed in geez they're very tight off to the races see you later goodbye all right let's get down to business here and they both come wrapped on the arms i'm a, oh boy i see something i don't like right off the bat here so we got we got issues right off the bat let me get these tag titles off here let me get off both of these guys right to begin with what are we doing? So we do get the AEW Tag Team titles. We've seen these numerous times, and we're seeing them here again. Uh, nothing new, nothing shocking going on. Uh, it's all right getting these figures, or these belts, I should say. I, I'm not against getting any time. It's a good accessory. I'd rather have this than the old ring bell from the Jacks days, things like that for sure. Uh, but let's look at the Bucks here, and unfortunately... Very strangely, we are wrapped on the arms here. So we're wrapped with the plastic protection on the arms, but nothing that has anything to do with the shirt. Now, that's what it should be protecting from is the shirt. You're not protecting anything just on the arm. So uh, that is extremely disappointing right off the gate. And I can already see bleed uh, from the shirt, ruining the plastic. So, man, that absolutely sucks. Uh, we got to get that figured out. Mattel hasn't had too many issues lately. Uh, Jazzwares has had some issues. And, man, I got the rings right on my shoulders there. So 
what are we doing? What are we doing, Jazz Wearers? We got to get this together. We got to get this figured out ASAP. Uh, it's just, it's embarrassing at this point. That's that's all I can really say. It's embarrassing. Can I get this plastic off very easily? That's the other thing. It's like, it doesn't, it's not doing anything. It's not helping anything. It's just, it's getting me half hot. I don't understand this at all. Why is this even here? And then not being able to just pull it off is even worse. Why can't I just slide this off? First, it doesn't protect anything. It's just here for an annoyance factor, I guess. Uh, come on. There we go. I'm kind of getting it off. Man, this is just... I don't know. I don't know. If you... I got to think everybody's pack is going to be this way. There's zero protection on the arms here. Gosh, maybe my scissors are going to have to cut these off. This is annoying. Uh, I don't understand why they would even waste doing this if it doesn't protect anything. It just doesn't make any sense at all. It's just... It's a mind boggler right here. Very, very strange. I don't understand it. All right, well, I'm going to take this offline. Once again, this pack's giving me all kinds of trouble. I'm going to get these off, and we'll be back talking all things Young Bucks. All right, back again. We got Matt. We got Nick Jackson. We got some stains on the shoulders. I'm not looking forward to this review. I got to tell you what, I'm I'm pretty half hot about it. But here it is. Let's break it down here. And we got a good head sculpt here. Uh, Mr. Jackson, Mr. Matt Jackson looks pretty good. Of course, side to side, up and down, all the usual jazz wears articulation. Nice little ponytail in the back, black hair going on. And then he's got his beard, a neutral face, a good neutral face. We've had some weird faces from him uh, with screaming faces and things like that in the jazz wears past, of course. I really do love the Young Bucks shirt here. It looks really, really good. I love the... Uh, the Macho Man, I guess almost Macho Man inspired gear. This looks like something Macho Man would have with the tassels and the bright neon colors, things like that. It's very 90s, Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man, Saved by the Bell colors. Uh, we're rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling with the colors here. I like it a lot. Young Bucks on the side on the pink. Uh, the pink and the highlighter yellow look looks really, really good. And like I said, I do like the black shirt that really complements the entire outfit here. We got no extra hands or anything, no for, nothing for accessories. We just got two gripping hands on both guys here. Uh, Articulation-wise, we'll walk through it one time. We got shoulders all the way around. We got biceps side to side. We do got double-jointed elbows. We need to get these pinless. That's got to be coming. Uh, you know, technology's passing by, and AEW is going to be left behind. Jazz wears that is. I got to think it's coming sooner than later. Still has that weak elbow problem that I've been uh, harping about for the last year or so here. Hands are removable though. You get the side by side, all that kind of stuff. Side to side on the le on the uh, waist there. You get the waist, and then you get a little hula hoop action as well. Pretty good amount of hula hoop. You do get the legs, a little bit of a split. Thigh cut, of course. Double jointed knees are good, but man, a little bit weak. Once again, pretty weak in the knees. And then you get ankles uh, a little bit around, but they are limited by his bell bottoms, of course. I'm going to take this shirt off. It looks like we might have plastic under the shirt, uh, but I think there's going to be a horrifying experience once I take this shirt off, unfortunately. Uh, and I better be ready for it. I better be ready for it because it's coming soon. All right, so we do got plastic around the ab crunch down here. So we've seen that before. Uh, Orange Cassidy, many others have had that. And of course, you just kind of slide that out. A little easier to remove than the arms uh, are for sure. Uh, oops, put them on backwards. Probably should put them on the right way, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, but looking at the shoulders, that's the first thing. And both shoulders, unfortunately, have the bleed from the shirt. Just absolutely sucks. Just absolutely atrocious. That should not continue to happen. Uh, you know, if I wasn't a deep collector and all this kind of stuff, this is going to turn people off. I have to imagine it's just where is the quality control here? I mean, how do you wrap the arms that have nothing on it, but you leave the shoulders and, and the top portion of the torso totally bare? I don't understand the quality control there. I really don't. Uh, you know, it's it's not okay. It's not okay. We're all spending our hard-earned money, especially in this day and age with all the inflation and everything else. You can't do that to your consumer. I mean, you just can't. $50 for this two-pack, I get it. Some people are going to say, oh, it's mint on card, all that kind of stuff. I don't care. Your stuff inside the box. There are people that open it. There's kids. There's people like me, maybe like you. Uh, it's not acceptable. So Jazzwares got to get that figured out ASAP. You're going to turn people off with your product. That's what's going to happen. So harsh critic right here of this one, that's for sure. Uh, so that is pretty bad. And I can see some people say, well, don't display it with the shirt on. Well, that's part of the charm with this. We need the shirt on here. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm just going to take one for the team. I'm going to put it on there. It's going to be what it is really at the end of the day. But it is disappointing because this is such a good pack. Mint on card, it looks beautiful. Out of the box, it's a cool new version of the Young Bucks that I'm here for. 
It's just uh, not as special as it really could have been with all the uh, paint issues that we got going on. Or I don't even know if you, you can't even call it paint issues. I guess you call it fabric issues, right? I mean, it's uh, the issues with the fabric bleeding into the plastic. So just very, very strange that we continue to have this problem in this day and age. I mean, this should have been fixed back in the Jack's days. I mean, Mattel's not hands-free on this one. They've had some issues, but nothing like Jazzwares had. Uh, he does fit, I'm sure, on a ringside stand. Yes, he does. Use discount code Kyle. Save 10%. Get your Jazzwares stands at ringside collectibles. Uh, now let's look over at Nick Jackson, see what Nick's going on here. And, of course, articulation is the same. Uh, it seems the lower body is identical as well. No, it's not. It's not identical. It's flip-flop reverse. So I do like that a whole lot. I thought it was the same, but it is. They reverse the legs. That is a really good idea. Makes them feel at least a little bit more different, so I'm okay with that. Bodies seem to be the same, and then of course the staining seems to be the same. So at least they got that right. They got the staining consistent in the figures, I guess, if if nothing else. But let me get this shirt off. Let's see how bad it is uh, on Mr. Nick here. Does he got the same problem? He is not as bad as his brother. He's got just a little bit on the right, but it's a little bit more consistent all the way around. Where this is heavy in some spots. This kind of dangles around a little bit. And this arm seems to be fairly clean. Ah, uh, there's a little bit. Just a little, but it's fairly clean and it can be hid hidden. So that is nice, I guess. You can hide that away. Uh, we do get a good, good head on Nick Jackson. Uh, we have seen this head before, but I, I do think it really does look like him. I think it is a... Jeez, this plastic. What are we doing? Oh, but of course, this one. So I can't make this stuff up. I, what is going on, Jazzwares? Come on, Jazzwares, help me out. Help me out. So you got staining all over the torso right here. So we got staining, but this was all wrapped in plastic. So you're telling me the fabric goes through the plastic. So what is even the point? If this is wrapped in plastic, why does this have staining on it? I, I, I don't understand it. I just, I'm totally, I'm totally perplexed right here. I, I cannot figure this set out. I'm very, very disappointed. This is something... Uh, you know, I, I gave him a pass a little bit more in the past about it, but man, this should have been fixed after that. You can't rush things like this to the market when a consumer has so many choices and what they can buy. Uh, it's just, it's not working. This is just not working. And this is a massive fail for a set. That's what I'm going to say. It's just, it, it started off great. I guess if you're an inbox collector, it won't bother you. And this is a great set to be unboxed. It's definitely one of those ones that I'm going to tell you, it's better in the box than outside of the box. And that's unfortunate because... Uh, it is very cool looking here with the cool 90s gear going on. Looks good, but all this staining is just abysmal. It's an abysmal practice that needs to end. Let's get that figured out. That's my goal for the rest of 2022 is that these companies can figure out the staining of the plastic. I mean, we got to get better than this. Uh, I don't want to harp on it too much, but man, like I said, I'm half hot about it. It's just, ugh, I wasn't expecting this. And when you spend 50 bucks, you're expecting to, you know, get something a little bit better than this. That's what I'm going to say. But, of course, we got some other Young Buck figures we can compare these guys to. Uh, there's no shortage of Young Buck figures, of course, in the line. Uh, we got a couple of sets right here. I thought I'd grab some of the more recent sets. Uh, of course, they were also in Series 1 and Series 1B. Don't forget that one. But the Young Bucks, they're going to continue to come. We're going to continue to get their figures. I just hope they don't have stains like this in the future. But I like uh, the way they look, at least, the way they present. Very colorful. Always cool to have tag teams. There's a lot good about it. But unfortunately, this set, I'd probably pass unless you want it mint on card. Maybe get one of these other ones. I understand if you're an uh, AEW completionist, then you're going to have to pull the trigger. But it is unfortunate uh, that we feel a little taken advantage of with this set. That's that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say it. I'm pretty harsh in this review. You guys are hearing it. So, so there it is, the AEW set. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. How stained are yours? Did anybody get lucky and get no staining on the torso or the shoulders? That would be good if uh, that is the case. So hopefully you're one of those people because I unfortunately was not that lucky. But let me know your thoughts on the set in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. You don't want to miss a video, of course. And then follow along on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and ProSNTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And of course, the Patreon where you can get videos like this much earlier than traditional YouTube, bonus content, exclusive content, figure giveaways, and a lot of fun. And best of all, you get to support the channel over on the Patreon. So for some hot garbage that's stained plastic, I'm Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.